All right, I'm starting with two stencils and a little golden fluid acrylic in uh, titanium white. And I'm using a sponge and I'm sponging through the pattern, through the stencil to, to, to actually create a pattern on the surface of the cotton fabric. And that will then act as a resist when I then start to work with a lot of water and these ink tense blocks. So I'm spraying water and really, really getting it wet before I start to draw. And I'm working from a couple of photographs that I have of old tulips. Ink tense blocks melt as they touch the, the wet fabric and it's not difficult to get really intense colour. As you can see, I'm drawing and I'm rubbing with my fingers and I'm, I'm spraying with water the whole time. The secret is to keep it wet. Now I'm wearing latex gloves because ink tense blocks actually melt in your hands when they're wet and I don't want to get my hands dirty. Sometimes I use ink tits blocks on the side uh, to get a broader stroke and sometimes I use the, the tip of them uh, when I want to draw lines. I love just working the colour out into the fabric uh, with my fingers, which is another good reason to wear gloves. Now, since the fabric's so, so wet, I have time to work the colour out so I get this watercolour effect. And here I'm using a broad brush. And ink tense blocks are so full of pigment that I can even paint with what's left over, even though I've watered it down. Now this colour that I'm using here is called mustard and it, it goes from a, a light pale yellow to a deep mustard yellow. It's wonderful. As long as you keep the fabric wet, as I said before, there's a possibility to actually move any colour that you may think is too dark. And can you see that I got a few spots there by accident? That doesn't matter uh, because I can just paint it out, as you can see. Here I'm mixing different purple colours. working with line and sometimes turning the, the uh, block on its side. And here you can see how easy it is to just work the colour out into the, the wet fabric and get this light watercolour effect. Even really dark areas can, as you can see here on the left hand side, can be worked out with the brush. Sometimes I want a bit of shadow, but I can work it out into, so I don't get these hard, hard lines. Lots and lots of water and a broad, soft brush is actually the secret to the whole thing. Now, I don't actually want so much white background space, so I'm filling in all the spaces in between. Here, I, I think it's very important to have a mixture of lines and, and washed out colour. I'm using a colour called indigo here to sort of melt into the purple colours so that it's not too red purple. And here you can see a sort of close up of how ink tense blocks uh, work when they get onto a wet surface, what happens to them. There, I sprayed a bit. You can see how easy it is to get this watercolour effect with the brush and with, with the spray bottle. Right, this is the, the second uh, cushion cover, which is halfway through. Here it is finished. And here are the finished cushions. There they are sewn up. 
the second one. And here they are on the sofa together with some other cushions that I've both painted and, and felted. So that's it, ink tents, blocks on fabric.